Christians, Muslims were right on this thing. Muhammad is mentioned in the Bible. Don't turn the video. Listen to me. Right now, I want you to go to Matthew chapter 24, verse 11. And there you will find the Bible's prophetic word about the coming of Muhammad. All right? You know, sometimes I do admire the genius of writing the Bible and many other religions. Matthew 24, 11 that he's talking about is talking about that there will be there will come many false prophets and they will deceive people and take them away from the faith. It's an ingenious thing to write in your book because now anybody who comes against your religion, you can easily point to that piece of scripture and say that, ah, the Bible told me that people like you are coming. I get that all the time with myself that people say, oh, the Bible predicted you. So you're just proof that the Bible was right. You'd be surprised that pretty much every other religion does the exact same thing. And this is a vague th statement that could work for any religion. Hell, if I was writing a religion that I wanted to convince people, I would write the same thing, that anybody who comes and speaks against me, speaks against what I'm talking about, is a false prophet. And they are trying to deceive people. And they are of the devil or whatever terminology I want to use. Now, one thing that's interesting about that type of writing is that it keeps you enslaved to that book because you will look at things like that and swear up and down that the book is correct and that it's right. When I was taking a little bit of time to study Islam about 30 years ago, <laughs> yeah, about 30 years ago, uh, I remember an imam telling me that the Bible predicted Abraham, I mean, predicted Muhammad would come. That when Jesus said that after he leaves, he will send you a comforter, and that comforter will imbue himself inside you, and you will know the word of God, that that messenger was Muhammad. This is one of the reasons why they call Muhammad the messenger. That's what he was explaining to me. I don't know if that's something that all Islam teaches, but certainly what he was teaching. So they can use the Bible's loose words to say that Muhammad was coming, but Muhammad was coming as something of a continuation of the teachings of Jesus. And in this way, they perpetuate their myth story, their religious story, by showing Christians that they are just also, as they like to call them, people of the book. You know, many Muslims don't look as harshly upon other people of other religions, although I know that politics have convinced you otherwise, but they look at them as people of the book. Now, the political Muslim will look at it totally different, and that is another beauty of these religions that everybody can look at it however they choose to look at it. It's their decision, their mindset. So, I know people are gonna use that scripture against me. I really don't care because the entire thing is a falsified document used just to control people. And as this gentleman is doing, he's just using it to try to justify his religion another attempt to control people so y'all have a great day and remember always you got to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable good journey good vibrations